Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. I am Winti Grafiva, your favorite Masoto filmmaker. Today, I want to get into how I made the little coffee making montage that I did in the last video. Um, I think a few things that I'll cover will probably be the shots that I did um, or chose or selected or created. Um, the editing, you know, from the song choice to how I decided to put the shots together and stuff like pace and all of that and then why I made it the way that I did. I hope you'll enjoy this. Let's get into it. Right, so the first thing that I considered obviously when I was creating the montage was what it's like for a coffee maker or just any coffee enthusiast when you choose to make coffee, right? So I had to think about just putting somebody else who doesn't have that whole process into the shoes of somebody that goes through that whole process, right? So, and also just, I think how you feel when you make coffee. I think coffee drinkers will agree that there's a certain poetry to making coffee. You know what I mean? There's a certain je ne sais quoi when you make coffee, right? Especially when you crush the beans first because you kind of feel a part of the process that makes that very, very, very first cup that you drink. So I wanted to capture that because I think sometimes with these kinds of videos, you want to use like the really cool, fast, flashy effects, with the coffee beans dropping and you see the singular bean dropping into the grinder and all of that stuff. And that's really great. That's really, really, really cool. But as I've said in my show reel, um, I like, capturing the experience first you know so from pouring the beans really slow and just holding that shot there to finally coming in and seeing them a little bit closer i had to sort of find the balance between going really fast and slowing down because part of you know making coffee and enjoying coffee is you know the the slow part you know where you pour the coffee let it brew you know, the, the the aroma hits you. I wanted to make sure that in as much as the montage was a little bit flashy and everything, um, you still kind of get a sense of what it's like when you make that first cup of coffee in the morning and it's really amazing, right? So with the shots, what I tried to do is I tried to shoot everything or make sure that all the shots that I get rather are close-ups and mid shots so the reason being with mid shots you get a little bit of the action so it's more like a safety shot but then i also made sure that i get some close-ups as well because they just add to that extra umami what i tried to do is make sure that i have three different types of lighting in the shot so you have the lighting that's coming in from the window that's extremely harsh that's hitting the glass and you know the grinder and all of that stuff so you want to have some stuff in your highlights and then the mid tones were the parts that weren't directly being hit and then you obviously had your shadows or your lows when i try to create shots or when i do actually create shots i try to have a sort of 3d lighting aesthetic i want to give you a feel that there's something in the foreground on me on a have you feel something in the midground and I want you to feel that there's something behind it because I think it just makes a really nice image um, overall. So that's what the shots, I tried to capture as much motion and as much of the steps as I possibly could. And then finally, I went to edit the video. Now, before I get into the editing, it's important to note that I shot the entire montage on the Helios 44M two lens it's a vintage lens so no autofocus it's a completely manual lens which means that you have to set your focus and not move the camera whenever you shoot unless you have a focus puller and apart from that it's a really amazing lens has really amazing character i love it i'll show you a few stills here and here and here it's really 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 awesome um i wouldn't recommend it for corporate shoots or any shoot where you need something super sharp because it is a little bit hazy but i just like the character of the lens and then the other thing that you'll notice from the source footage is that it looks gray now it looks gray because i only shoot 
in log obviously you should too and then afterwards i color grade the footage and color correct and bring the colors back now um with the editing what i tried to do is sort of match what i'm trying to convey with the video with the pacing of the edit right so the first thing was the song choice song choice is really important everybody knows this anybody who makes videos films whatever knows that song choice is very important so i wanted to go for something very jazzy because i felt like that's kind of the music that always plays in my mind every time i make coffee you know every morning when i go downstairs and i make coffee i just somehow i don't know i just think of you know something super jazzy and with a saxophone i don't know why don't judge me um so i think that's why i chose that but also because um you enjoy the really long notes in um a saxophone so i figured that shots where you have the little riffs that the saxophone has they'd match up really well with a lot of the action that's going on in the shot told you know cut to the beat and do this and do this which is fine it's really great but you want to create a sort of rhythm so don't just cut to every single hard note or audible note rather it's fine to go off beat sometimes because it just kind of makes it a little bit more real because you don't want people you know being able to predict when your next cut is going to come and also that's what makes your cuts seem almost seamless i guess now the other thing was sound design I didn't mention this earlier but sound design was very important so usually with a lot of the sounds that you heard in the actual montage itself a lot of people tend to record foley or record the sounds of them picking up and dropping the different objects or various objects um, while they're shooting or at least after they're shooting um i just had my microphone sensitivity very high so that i can pick up the sound of all of those things and then add a bit of a denoiser um in post in addition so maybe i might go through that i don't know but yeah <laughs> um i just tried to capture as much of the sounds that i was using while i was there because the other thing is unless it's something very long or huge or you can't capture the actual real sound it's really 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 difficult to keep track of those things especially because you don't necessarily know what your final product is going to look like yes you have an idea but you don't know exactly what it's going to look like so some people do edit finish and then record the foley but it was just like a two minute video man and i was kind of in a rush so what i did was with the coffee plunger bit i got sounds of people going underwater with gopros and then I took the sound that the water makes as you sort of submerge the camera or microphone into the water. And then I played that over the plunger actually going down. <laughs> that would just pair really well with the visuals that you see and i think it worked i think it worked i don't know um but yeah so sound design is really important i'm not a sound designer myself but for a lot of my videos i always try to incorporate some element of sound design i probably touched on this as i was explaining how i actually made and shot the video but the why i made it and why i made it the way that i did was just to capture that feeling of making coffee in the morning and you just woke up, you just need this cup of coffee and just that process. Because I think a lot of the times life tends to get very, 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 very hectic. And something about making coffee, you know, for those, you know, 10, 15 minutes, just the process, not even when you're drinking it, but just the process of making coffee kind of feels like peace. I don't know if that's just me or every, 
coffee drinker can agree with this, but there's just something about making a cup of coffee every morning and having that process that's just really peaceful. You know, it kind of feels like the world goes a little bit silent and it's just you and this beautiful, majestically tasting thing that you are trying to make. And also, also totally off topic, the only coffee bean or the only coffee roast that matters is a medium roast fight me if you will but anyway we're just about capturing you know just the process of making coffee but it feels like for us coffee drinkers and i don't know just do something that looks really 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 cool but anyway that was my first tutorial i hope i'll have a lot more to show on this channel but until next time thank you for stopping by